the advice is accept your actual situation <laughs> and the possible failures <laughs> and try to be receptive and disposed towards a change in equilibrium. <laughs> Destined in any case to mutate. <laughs> They're telling you too. Calm, calm. Oh my god. <laughs> wonderful world of YouTube and welcome back to the vlogween series. It is currently about 7-ish o'clock in the morning and I am headed to my first two lectures of the day. I actually have a pretty nice easy day. I only have two uh, 90 minute lectures back to back this morning and then I have a pretty chill afternoon of just studying, doing some notes, working on a lab report and I'm going to do something a little exciting haul for you guys as well. But I figured before I go, I would show you what I'm wearing today. So today I just have on my black uh, leather moto jacket from Dynamite. And then I have on this like black and white that is bleached and spots plaid from Dolls Kill. Plain black v-neck t-shirt that I got from many years ago, so I don't remember. My skinny jeans are from a local boutique that I absolutely love called Pink Pork Bag. And then my boots. Look at these babies, are the most beloved boots I own. Today, I don't know if you can tell the eyeshadow, because this mirror is really dirty, so I apologize for that. But I use the Jeffree Star Alien palette on the face today. And I am off, and I'll see you guys later when I get back from class. Update time, and I am back from my lectures for the day. It is currently 11.04 in the afternoon, and I have a pretty chill afternoon. I have a friend and my roommate are coming back from the class in about an hour and a half. So until then, I'm going to just try to get some work done. I stopped at Starbucks, I got my coffee and my sandwich. So I'm probably going to eat and then give you guys a little haul video because that's going to be the highlight of today's Vlogoween. <laughs> So since this is a vlogoween series, I figured what better time would it be than to do a Dolls Kill haul. Now I realize obviously Dolls Kill is all year round. I absolutely freaking love Dolls Kill. Um, but they're very like Halloween vibes. So this is a collective haul over like the past few months of Dolls Kill orders. And it still probably definitely is overkill. But I just, I love Dolls Kill and I can't help myself. So I figured I'd show you a few things that I've gotten recently. So I don't know about you guys, but I love pant chains. I love hanging things off my pants. Because it makes me feel like an 80s rock star. Like I should be in Motley Crue. So I got this pant chain that just has like a big safety pin on it. I wear it all the freaking time. I absolutely love that thing. And then the other pant chain I got. Ugh, it comes here is this one and it has like a bunch of like spiky guys on it and i've actually have used and worn this one as a pant chain as well as a necklace and then the last thing in the realm of chains because i love chains is this necklace and it's just like a double layer chain with the lock attached to the bottom so yeah i got that guy as well i thought i heard banging there's always banging. I live in a dormitory, in residence, on a university campus. There's always noises. Um, and the next few pieces I bought are more jewelry pieces, and these may or may not have to do with my Halloween costume. But first, I just got these cuff bracelets. There is, there are, they're English. There's two of them, and they just have like the leather strap with the little lace spikes around them. So I thought those were perfect for my costume. And then also for my costume, I got this guy who's very tangled up. He's twisted, but we're gonna deal with it. It's this stunning choker, like, but it's just this choker, it has a gem in the middle and then a couple like chainy things hanging down underneath. And I thought it was absolutely stunning. So I had to buy it. And then the next few things I got were just uh, patches, which I am ripping out of the package. Just, I got this one patch that says Reapers. Yep, just as Reapers. And then this one I want to show you, and hopefully I don't get demonetized for it, is a Zombitch. 
and I just have a jean vest that I got on like super super sale it was pretty cheap it's a great jean vest but I want to patch the crap out of it just like cover it in patches so I'm slowly collecting patches to cover that vest with and so that's all the accessories and everything that I purchased so the first pair I got are these like booty heels and I don't know if you can tell they're like an imprinted snake skin um, leather and they're just super strappy and they lace up the front they've got the buckle across the toe and the pointed heel and I can run around campus for classes in these and not have an issue my feet don't hurt so days where I feel like being a little dressier or just feel like wearing a high heel but I can't wear a high heel because I have to walk 25 minutes to the other side of campus for a lecture these are are the best of both worlds this is the most beautiful boot I have ever seen in my entire life and so I ignored the hefty price tag and just bought them. So these are the Doc Martens Sinclair Smooth. So they are the platform ones with the smooth leather and the zipper up the front. And oh, I can't, I cannot express how much I love these boots and how absolutely comfy they are and beautiful they are. And now the next pair of shoes I got were, oh, they are absolutely beautiful. Also fall into that Victorian Gothic theme that I absolutely love. They are not super practical, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't leave them. I had to have them. And so these are also going to be a part of my Halloween costume. Hopefully, I might break my face and every bone in my body if I wear these on Halloween to go clubbing at the Drake bar, but uh, we'll see. But I got these boots and they are six inches, seven inches, but then this, the platform in the shoe is I think three to four inches. So really the actual curve in your foot is only three inches. So these are a lot easier to walk in than one would think. And so yeah, they're just these plain boots and then they have this like band that goes across it and then just ties in the back. It has a beautiful cameo on the front, but it ties in the back. So these slip right off the boot. So technically if you really want to, you could probably like double this part as a choker or you could almost have two pairs of shoes in one because you have like beautiful gothic Victorian thing going on and then just like plain boot that could also just be a Motley Crue. Can you tell I love Motley Crue? Okay, so moving on to clothing items, I got quite a few because I have a shopping addiction and a major shopping addiction specifically to Dell's Kill. So first I got this hoodie and it just has like lime green details on it. I don't even know what all this sleeve says, but it looks cool, so I like it. And then there's just like also a little techie computer code looking print on the side of the hood as well. And it's got a raw hemp bottom, just a pullover, so it's got the packet, and it is so comfortable. This next clothing item speaks to my heart and soul on a very deep level. This t-shirt, I think, is the most beautiful t-shirt I've ever seen owned in my entire life. It is a crybaby t-shirt. It is just a plain black t-shirt, but I, Crybaby, is my number one favorite movie of all time. I am obsessed with this movie. And then something I bought that I actually wear under the t-shirt or other various band t-shirts is just this sheer long sleeve checkered shirt. I just tuck it into my jeans and throw it over a band t-shirt. Actually, I throw the band t-shirt over this shirt. Rephrase. And it has like the little thummy, thumb, thummy, thumb, thumb holes on the shirt. And uh, yeah, can you tell I can't English very well? <gasps> We're on the last item. I bought this here absolutely freaking stunning jacket. It has this like, I don't know if you can tell, can you see? Yep, this frail lace up the front and the buttons. And it's got like slightly puffed shoulders, but not super over puffed. And then at the hand, it points down the hand it has a little like button almost military looking v detail the back oh mm, i can't it's a ribbon corset in the back that makes it super flattering when you put it on and then just like this little peplum tail coat i guess mini tail coat where it's like a layer of lace and it just oh it is the fit of the jacket is so flattering on because i am a little curvier around the stomach area and so this jacket pulls in and flows out in all the right places for my body type. That is everything I have purchased over the past few months from Dolls Kill because I am much too obsessed with that site. 
my roommate and I are on it like every other day. Like as a study break, we'll just like hop on doll scale and add everything into our wish list. I think both of us have, I'd say between 60 and 80 things in our wish lists on doll scale. Because adding stuff to your wish list is free, so it's fine. Look who's here! We acquired the Dasha. Oh, a Dasha. <laughs> a Dasha. A Dasha comes with spooky cards, apparently. Yes. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> think about it. Think about what you think about it. Think about it as you're doing this too. Hanky, Basically, stir them. Just like mix. Yeah, mix. Okay. Stir. That's the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> I always say stir. It's uh, Andrea. What's the word? Shuffle. Shuffle. It's not stir. So past. Present, future. Oh, all different directions. This one's going towards me, so this one's upside down. Those two are going towards you, yeah. so they're right side up. The number of stability united with this suite, this suit, <laughs> of the emotions brings an excess of security, a monotonous rigidity, and what is stagnant ends up rotting or tiring. Therefore, it is good to find the right balance. Of, sorry, this is just me talking shit. <laughs> that transforms stagnation, the apathy, and the boredom into harmony and a whole healthy restlessness, bitch. <laughs> They're even telling you when your friends know you too well. <laughs> and now the cars are proven. They're bad. calling you out. Okay. <laughs> so the advice is the moment has come to make a decision before what you've obtained ends up boring you and stagnating. That's past. Okay. Now present. Okay, so this is present. The Five of Pentacles is an active dynamic card that announces step by step the positive evolution towards the future and the discovery of new interests or new solutions. An excess of dynamism and velocity in moving about could, however, make the situation too fluid and unstable, causing inevitable worries and disorder to appear and obliging us to go back to where we were. And the advice is, with common, thorough, concrete and objective evaluation, you can go ahead overcoming any crisis that you meet along your way. Is like all I can so basically do. what you've been telling me to do. We are ready to depart with strength and determination on a trip that will allow us to attain what we desire and what we have planned. The Knight of Wands represents an adventurer capable of channeling or efficiently moving his energies or his instincts. In a negative version, he could become a symptom of indecision, rupture, or even delays regarding transfers or movements. So that the advice is, this is not the moment to have regrets. Take your will in hand with strength and begin the, to follow the road that will take to the realization of your works. Do it. That is so freaky. I don't like it. <laughs> yes. It reads you for filth. Yes, it does. Love is the imperative of this card. Passion, strong connection of reciprocal exchange and attraction, affection, complementarity, and comprehension. It can signify a gestation after an acc accumulation, but reversed, it can also uh, symbolize the birth of jealousy, frustration, and betrayal, and the resulting separation. It is not reversed, unless you make it reversed. So the advice is gain well-being and happiness when you have rightly accumulated it, but also when you have received and prepared for the next steps to take. That's your question. Six of Pentacles. We are in the present, but in front of a precarious equilibrium, an alternation that swings like a pendulum between positive and negative. It can make our physical and economic situation unstable while waiting for a solution and an ulterior evolution. It will be time, fluid, and unilateral, never stopping. This will make the situation evolve and enable us to overcome eventual obstacles. A new moment of balance that, though connected to emotions and feelings, leaves some doubt as to its duration. This is probably a precarious stability. If not faced in a serene and satisfying manner, it may mutate into a difficult situation through laziness, self-isolation, or fear of possible, possible delusions. The advice is, accept your actual situation <laughs> and the possible failures and try to be receptive and disposed towards a change in equilibrium destined in any case to mutate. <laughs> They're telling you too. Cough, cough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're on the execute portion of 399. <laughs> do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. Coming from you, Mrs. Haven't Done Step 3 yet. <laughs> okay, I am not on the execute stage, first of all. I'm in the pre planning phase. <laughs> this is what we do. When it is spoopy season and we have a class break, we listen to the cards and the cards are being freaky and telling me things. Exactly what you need to hear, what we've all been yelling at you about. 
Okay, and like fifth update time of the day, it is now currently six o'clock at night and I just got back from my workout class. It was an amazing workout class. So without further ado, I figured I would give you guys today's vlogging question of the day and it is, have you ever gotten your tarot cards read or have you ever done a tarot card reading? And if so, how accurate do you feel it was? And I said that really weird. How accurate do you feel it was? Let me know down in the comments down below your experience in tarot card readings. Because as you've seen in earlier clips, the one that my friend Dasha did on me today was freakishly accurate. Like I'm still actually shook to my core. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I mean, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that red button down below to subscribe and see future vlogaweens because I'm actually starting to get a lot planned for this month and some exciting vlogs coming up and I hope you guys keep enjoying them. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlogaween video. Talk to you later.